Hey YouTube, i um, going to do a quick review of the Windows 7 Beta Build 7000 released by Microsoft. Uh, let's do a quick boot up. I did run it on a gateway laptop and when I installed it I dual booted with my XP. So, um, the install went pretty quick can do it on battery power and didn't have any driver problems except for co-processor I guess but I don't think really think that's really important but see there's a boot up and it boots up a lot faster than uh, Vista although it looks pretty much like it a little bit there it goes The initial screen, the startup screen for it is a little bit different. With Vista, it is like a lightish green of some sort, I think. I can't really remember. But with uh, 7, it's blue, as you can see. And it says Windows 7 Ultimate right there. Let's just wait a minute here. There it is. Now, I did get some programs to work on this, and Microsoft says it's supposed to be fully compatible with uh, software and hardware. So, I installed AIM and Yahoo Messenger, that sort of stuff. And one thing I can't get working right now, but I am trying to get working, is Cabal Online. Just to see what it would be like on Windows 7. But, yeah, here you go. You get the cool little taskbar down here, which is a lot smoother and pretty much a little bit thicker, but the tasks you can do uh, are a little bit different. Instead of showing like what the task is, you can just hold down the button and move up off the taskbar, and it'll show you what that is. So you can see, and then show some of your history right here. So, and it does come with Internet Explorer 8, a beta, I think. But it does run really smooth, even on a gig of RAM. So, let's see, computer. There's my XP disk. But yeah, it doesn't take up a lot of space out of 50 gigs. I think that it's like this because I installed some stuff. But other than that, and because I think it's because of this, I had to reinstall it once. So I might delete that. But it does work great with my Realtek 81, RTL 8185 wireless card. Can't get on the internet. So you can see it's connected. Didn't have to find any additional drivers for it yet, at least. But you still get all the cool search features as you do here. As you can see right there, the cool search feature here. So, edit. As you can see, it searches up pretty nice. But yeah, my initial thoughts on this is that it's a lot, lot more smoother than Vista. And I was happy to be able to try this out and happy for Microsoft being able to release it. So yeah, I will, well I've only had like a few hours to play with it since yesterday. Got it at about 6 o'clock at night and been playing with it ever since, so about a day or two, almost. But... Other than that, from what I know of it, is that it's very nice. It's a lot smoother, clearer, and doesn't usually take up a lot of RAM. As you can see, the Windows closes that fast, really faster. With Vista, it lags a little bit. So this would be a good, good upgrade from Vista for a lot of users who used to like Vista. 
and it boots up about the same speed as XP, so there's no problem there. And battery life is about the same for all of them. But, oh wow, two and a half hours? I've never seen that. I guess it's a little bit better. Last time I checked it, it was about an hour and 50 minutes, but I guess I'm getting two hours now, two and a half hours of battery. So, it doesn't take that, bad, that much battery. Let's see. And, yeah, there's Task Manager. Um, don't really know what else to show you. Uh, just the, really what's new in it is the taskbar and some of the features for it. Let's see. And you get a new personalized screen so you can choose themes with different wallpapers. So that was really cool. You can change your mouse pointers here, your desktop icons, and your account picture. So I think that's pretty nice. Uh, there's a new control panel. As you can see, there are a lot more options than in a regular control panel at in Vista and XP. I guess because there's so much more stuff in Windows 7. Um, let's see, what else can I show you? Hmm. Let's go on the Windows Media Center. See what that looks like. I haven't really tried that one yet. But yeah, for all of you who are thinking about getting this uh, beta, I th I'd say it's a really good idea. I say go for it. Well, it's worth a shot. Everything's worth a try, except for Vista. But you know. So, um, yeah, it works with most games like WoW or some other stuff, I can't remember, but I'm still trying to get the, um, Cabal working, because I play that, and I kind of like it. So there's Media Center, let's make it bigger, so... Usually this would really lag in Vista, so I'd say that's a lot better too. And when you plug in something like a USB flash drive, it picks it up right away. And I'll just do a little demonstration. See? Right away. And Vista will take about 30 seconds or so. But yeah, that's Windows 7. You get a lot, a lot more features. And as you can see, most of them are pretty new. <laughs> most of them are some of the same. But most, other than that, everything's quite the same. And here, I'll just pull up the system settings and there it is Windows 7 don't know if you can really see that but yeah I have an AMD gateway computer with a gig of RAM running the 32-bit operating system 64 is available but I'm not really sure if a lot of things are going to be compatible with it I will probably get it and try it but other than that, I'll just show my device manager and show that I have had no no problems with drivers. So yeah, the only one I have is the coprocessor. So I have to get a driver for that if there is one. But other than that, just try it. Try to get a feel for it. I'd say go ahead and upgrade it from Vista. Once it comes out, hopefully there will be a lot more features when it comes out instead of just the beta. And goodbye. That's my review.